Of all the monuments in Rome, my favorite is the Pantheon. It has been described as the most perfect architectural monument ever built. A temple dedicated to all of the Roman deities, constructed between 118 and 125 after Christ under the reign of the Emperor Hadrian. The structure stands today incredibly well preserved as testimony to the extraordinary ability of the ancient Romans to build. And in fact, the Pantheon, which is essentially a rotonda, a large cylindrical cella, or naos, which essentially housed the statues of all the gods with a massive porch situated on the front. A porch consisting of 16 40-foot tall, 60-ton Egyptian granite monolithic columns. And I don't know about you, but every time I say that, I get the willies. Try to wrap your head around what it means to quarry, transport, and erect columns as large as these. And those 16 columns support the pediment, which is that triangular crown that you see up above, upon which we have the ancient dedicatory inscription to the Admiral Marcus Agrippa. Long dead when the structure was built, but the patron of the original structure. But the true meaning of the Pantheon is what you find behind those doors. A large circular structure measuring 142 feet in diameter, which is exactly the height of that perfect hemispherical dome that crowns it. A dome that is pierced by an oculus which measures 30 feet across and through which rain and sun and snow actually pass. And when you step into the Pantheon, you are stepping into architectural perfection.